hey guys, good morning. Uh, we have uh, the P111E code, which is uh, the ECU is not reading uh, the engine coolant temperature sensor correctly. Uh, so what it'll, it'll do, it'll cut your AC off and turn your radiator fan on, uh, regardless of what uh, the engine's doing, just to be safe. Um, and there's two uh, engine coolant temperature sensors. There's one on the thermostat that, you know, as far as I know, operates the gauges and stuff like that. Then there's another one on the back of the head that the ECU uses uh, to monitor the engine. Um, and uh, if that one's wacky, then it's gonna throw that code. Uh, on the 2.5, I'll see if I get better pictures, but we're gonna have to remove the, the valve cover off. Uh, well, not the actual valve cover, just the cover that covers the cover to expose the spark plugs. And it's gonna be way in the back here. Uh, and I'll try to get some pictures uh, of what we're doing. Um, but basically there's going to be a clip that we got to pull out then the sensor pops out um, And you kind of have to do it by feel you're not going to see much uh, So let's go ahead and get that that cover off and uh, see what we could do So to remove the cover we're going to take uh, this t30 uh, Torx bit and there's a bolt right down here that we got to take off and then there's a uh, 10 millimeter up here. And then we're gonna have to remove our oil cap and uh, dipstick. Uh, and then uh, this whole thing will slide out. you'll see on the back that there's some tabs that you got to pull this towards the front for it to come out. And let's put our cover back on and our dipstick to make sure nothing goes in there. So I tried to get uh, some pictures of where it is, but so if you look back here, kind of straight with the plugs here, and right down where, where you see my finger pointing um if you reach down you'll feel the the wires going to the plug and uh you know there's a small plug okay let me get it out now this is what the plug looks like and it's facing in this orientation and uh i'll try to unclip it um if i can but Basically, there's going to be a, a little like a clip that holds that sensor and that you got to pull out And I'm gonna to try to use something like this Which is just like a pick to try to go in there and, and push it out and uh, That should free up the plug. There might be some antifreeze that comes out. I suspect there will um, But it's gonna go over, all over the transmission and whatnot uh, It'll be hard to catch it, but I'll put a pan underneath there Well, there goes the clip. There goes my screwdriver. And there goes the sensor. I was hoping I could pull the sensor out further with the clip out, but I can't. Okay. All right. All right, I got it out. I lost my clip though, so hopefully I could find that. That way I could show you what it, what it looks like. Okay, so here's that clip that is in this position and you gotta pry it outwards. Um, 
I'm not sure exactly where it physically goes. I'm guessing this gets pressed in all the way, then that clip is uh, towards the top here, since this black part's a seal. And I did measure the resistance off the new one, which was uh, 16 ohms, and the old one was uh, 940. Uh, not, not a huge difference really, but um, I was just kind of curious. But we'll go ahead and slide this one in, uh, and hopefully get this, this uh, clip in without it uh, falling out. Uh, it is a pain to work back there, but so far it's, it's doable. So let's finish this job and hopefully this fixes uh, the issue. Not much cooling came out, by the way, if you guys were wondering. So, you know, there wasn't much you could see there, but what I did, I slid the sensor in and you have to get this seal to set. And hopefully it's set. I haven't started the truck yet and I'll check for leaks, but you need to somehow push this down and you can't really push it down easy. So I took a screwdriver and, you know, made it to hit the top of this. And then while I was pushing, I, I turned uh, the sensor with my finger and I could feel that it, it set in a little deeper, which then allowed you to take that clip and push it in. And then I took the screwdriver backwards and reached with my right hand, like help it push in. And uh, it feels like it's in there tight now, so I'm pretty happy about that. Then obviously you gotta, you gotta plug it in. Uh, and uh, so that all went well. Uh, I'm going to start it up before putting the cover, uh, the engine cover back on uh, and, and clear the code to see if, uh, see if everything works. Okay, so uh, I cleared the check engine light, uh, let it run for a few minutes. I don't see anything leaking. Um, uh, the AC comes on as it should, uh, so I think we're good. Uh, I'm going to button it back up, put the cover on uh, like we took it off, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll be good. If anything changes, I'll let you know. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, comment below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. All right, thank you.